everyone and welcome to your favorite series on aptitude tips and tricks and in this class I'm going to tell you five best ways to solve your aptitude questions and believe me if you learn this approach which we call an integrated approach you will gonna master your aptitude so I have these five best approaches for you and for each approach I have one example question but don't just go by these questions because these questions I have picked so that it'll be easy for me to make you understand these approaches. So guys, by adopting these ways or by identifying where to use which way, you can easily boost your aptitude score. So let's have a look what these five ways are. So our first way is conceptual approach. In conceptual approach, I have an example for you like after four o'clock, when do minute hands and our hands meet? So to answer this question, we have to use the concept of how much distance a minute hand or an hour hand travels in one hour. With that, you can easily answer that question. So that's why this is called conceptual approach. So moving on to our second approach, which is a formula based approach. The example here I took is 63 plus 64 plus 65 and so on plus 72. So this is nothing but an arithmetic progression. So you can, you know, you can solve this by adding all these numbers, which is 63 plus 64 plus 65. But why should we do that when we already know that there is a formula for AP? So the formula for sum of AP is equals to N by 2 into A plus L, where N is nothing, is nothing but number of terms. A is first term and L is the last term. Moving on to next approach, which is common sense. And in common sense, I have a very interesting example for you, which is 73% of 146 minus 46% of 73. And what will be the answer? It looks very tricky, but it's very simple. So if you see 73% of 146 is nothing but 146% of 73. As we know, x percent of y is equals to y percent of x. So if we write it like 146% of 73 minus 46% of 73, it's nothing but 100% of 73, which is 73 itself. So isn't it very simple? Moving on to next approach, which is elimination approach. In this, I have one question for you. Last digit of 64 raised to the power 81 plus 47 raised to the power 24 is equals to. It looks very difficult, but it's very simple because we know 64 raised to the power 81 is nothing but an even number and 47 raised to the power 24 is nothing but an odd number. And when we add an even number, an odd number, it will always give us an odd number and if you just look at the answers we have all the even numbers except one odd number so we just have to eliminate these three and find the right answer so with this way we use the elimination method and find our answers so moving on to next approach which is substitution approach the question here I have is largest number that can divide n minus 1 into n into n plus 1 where n is integer. So let's solve this by substituting. We can start substituting with 1 but I will not do that because 1 minus 1 is 0 and the whole number will come as 0. So let's start with 2 where I'll get 2 minus 1 into 2 into 2 plus 1 which is nothing but 6. So that means this number can be divided by 6. And if we put n is equals to 3, we will get 3 minus 1 into 3 into 3 plus 1, which is 24. 24 will be divided by 3, 8, 12, 6. But we have to think here that the question here asks the largest number that can divide n minus 1, n and n plus 1. And if we substitute n is equals to 2, then the largest number would be only 6. So keeping that in mind, our answer is 6. So guys, these are the five best ways to solve aptitude questions. You have to practice to identify where you should use which method. 
So guys, stay tuned as we are coming up with more videos which will help you solving these aptitude questions which may appear very difficult but we have very simple solutions for them. So don't forget to subscribe.